Hello, Captain Turner here. Um, I'm just going to be doing a video today uh, with a little tutorial on how to uh, uh, modify your ATC. So the inbuilt ATC, instead of it uh, talking for you as the pilot or the co-pilot talking back to the inbuilt ATC, you will be able to talk back because we're going to switch off uh, the part of the inbuilt ATC that allows that to speak for you. Um, Basically, if you don't want to be on VATSIM, but you still want to um, be able to talk back to the inbuilt ATC without the annoying talking back for you, um, this is the video for you. So what I'm going to do is uh, demonstrate first um, what this is like, and then I'm going to show you how to be able to uh, do this for yourself. So if I just um, resume, I've already got a flight plan set up. So, um, talking back, um, this is pretty much how it will sound from now on if you, uh, if you follow what I do. Uh, Luton Ground request IFR clearance to Stansted with information Yankee, Charlie 145. Charlie 145 is clear to Stansted Airport as filed. Take off runway 25 climb and maintain 7,000 feet. Departure frequency is 118.475 squawk 2326. Charlie 145, clear to Stansted. Take off runway 25, climb and maintain 7,000. Departure frequency 118.475 squawk 2326. Beechcraft 145 readback is correct. Contact ground on 121.75 when ready to taxi. Good day. Copy that, Charlie 145. Okay, so uh, as you heard, there is no talking back for you. I do the talking back. Um, so now I will show you how this is actually done. So I'm just going to minimize the uh, sim now. And uh, show you what to do. Um, I am using the Steam version, so wherever you find your files if you're on Microsoft uh, if you've downloaded from Microsoft or whatever then um, basically um, you'll have to locate the file yourself but I presume it's going to be the same file um, so for Steam users <coughs> like me the file is located um, I go to my C drive users obviously my username I then go to app data roaming look for Microsoft Flight Simulator then I go to uh, packages and I go to uh, official, go into my Steam folder and I scroll all the way down and what I'm looking for is FS base. Um, I will just show you one thing though. Um, I've been trying to modify the ATC um, and I've, I've looked through all these files. I've been trying to find this ever since the sim came out. Because I love to talk back, even with the ATC, what's built in. Anyway, um, let's go to FS Base. This is what we want to look for. This is the uh, folder you want to be in, FS Base. Once you're in here, um, the file you're looking for is speakers, uh, speakers .lock, SPK. I open this with, I can open this with uh, the normal notepad or, or um, basically I'm, I'm using the word pad here just to open this so I can show you. Um, so this is the file that um, adjusts the speaking and everything. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just minimize this now um, and I'll show you. The part that you need to uh, adjust is where it says Copilot. Now I've got another folder here um, in text format on my notepad um, just to show you uh, what it would look like. So this is the same. Um, if I scroll down, um, where it says Copilot here, that would have been here. But I've took out this, this here, from this file. So name Copilot, gender, age, and output bus Vogue Copilot. And if you look on all the others, where it says default or ATC legacy, uh, you'll see these uh, where it says name, gender, 
age and output. I've just gone on the co-pilot here and I've taken out this here. And um, that's basically what I've done. I've just I've just taken that out. Um, obviously saved it. And now I'm able to uh, stop the sim from talking back for me. Um, the thing we need to remember when doing this is uh, when you have your ATC open in the sim, um, for some reason we must use COM2 uh, to do this instead of COM1. COM1 it has a few problems with, I'm not sure why, but as long as you use uh, COM2 in the sim, um, as I'll just show you that, I'll go back on here and basically in the aircraft if I bring back my ATC here show you I'm using COM2 um, it will take out what you have to say to ATC um, but with ATC as you know um, you're reading back anyway mostly so it's not a difficult task to read back to ATC from the inbuilt sim um, make sure also uh, when you're in the aircraft make sure COM2 is selected here uh, sometimes, especially if you're in a Beechcraft, you want to make sure when you've changed to COM2 on the ATC uh, on the ATC part here, when you change to COM2, what normally happens is this COM1 is still on. So deselect that COM1. And basically, that is that is how it's done. So um, if anybody has been trying to do this themselves, um, I am so glad to help because this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Anyway, if you need to ask me any questions about anything, uh, just give me some uh, feedback in the comments or any questions in the comments. I'll be happy to help. So I hope this, I hope this video uh, helps people that want to do this. As always, subscribe, and I will come back with another video soon. Take care.